In the ever-evolving space race, two titans stand at the forefront, SpaceX and Blue Origin. While both companies share ambitious dreams of revolutionizing space travel, their paths couldn't be more different. Today, SpaceX has just achieved something remarkable that has left Blue Origin struggling to catch up. Despite Blue Origin's two-year head start and billions in backing from Jeff Bezos. The story begins with Blue Origin's massive New Glenn rocket, a 320-foot giant that promises to lift an impressive 45 metric tons to orbit. But while this rocket sits waiting for its maiden flight after years of delays, SpaceX continues to break records and push boundaries at an unprecedented pace. Just recently, SpaceX completed another groundbreaking static fire test with their Starship, showcasing the stark contrast between these two space giants. This is the story of how SpaceX's relentless innovation and rapid development cycle has reshaped the space industry, leaving competitors like Blue Origin racing to keep up. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. In the high-stakes arena of commercial spaceflight, the contrast between SpaceX and Blue Origin tells a story of two radically different approaches to reaching the stars. As we witness New Glenn's development at Blue Origin's facility, we're looking at more than just a rocket. We're seeing Jeff Bezos' $10 billion dream taking physical form. Standing 320 feet tall, this technological marvel doesn't just tower over SpaceX's Falcon 9. It represents Blue Origin's bold bet on the future of space commercialization. The story behind New Glenn's development reveals the complexities and challenges of modern rocket engineering. Deep within Blue Origin's facilities, teams of engineers have spent countless hours perfecting the seven BE-4 engines, each one a masterpiece of modern engineering generating 550,000 pounds of thrust. These aren't just numbers. They represent years of dedication, countless sleepless nights, and the relentless pursuit of perfection. But while Blue Origin's engineers meticulously refined their designs, SpaceX was writing a different kind of story one of rapid iteration and learning through failure. In the early days, few believed Elon Musk's company could succeed. The first three Falcon 1 launches ended in failure, nearly bankrupting the company. Engineers worked around the clock, sleeping on factory floors, fighting against time and dwindling resources. The fourth launch had to succeed, and it did, marking a turning point in commercial spaceflight history. This spirit of perseverance has carried through to today, where SpaceX's pace of innovation has become legendary. Picture this. On a cold December morning, as most of America slept, the ground at Starbase began to tremble. All 33 Raptor engines of the latest Starship prototype roared to life simultaneously, generating over 7,000 tons of thrust, enough power to lift 10 fully loaded aircraft carriers. This wasn't just another test. It was a declaration of intent a statement that SpaceX isn't just participating in the space race, they're redefining it. The human stories behind these achievements are equally compelling. Take Sarah Martinez, a SpaceX engineer who helped develop the revolutionary technique that reduced rocket turnaround time from 21 days to just 13 days and 12 hours. Every minute counts, she explains in internal documentation. We're not just launching rockets. We're breaking down the barriers that have held humanity back from becoming a spacefaring civilization. Meanwhile, at Blue Origin, the approach couldn't be more different. Their methodical, careful development process reflects a different philosophy about space development. Space is not a race, Jeff Bezos often says, it's a marathon. This methodical approach has led to some remarkable achievements with their New Shepard program, named after Alan Shepard, America's first astronaut in space. The contrast became even more apparent during an unprecedented 24-hour period in late November. While most Americans were preparing for Thanksgiving dinner, SpaceX teams were orchestrating something never before attempted. Two launches within three hours. The first carried critical national security payloads for the Department of Defense, while the second deployed another batch of Starlink satellites. This wasn't just a display of technical prowess. It was a testament to how far space technology has come since the days of the space shuttle, which required six months of painstaking refurbishment between flights. The space shuttle comparison offers a fascinating glimpse into how spacecraft design philosophies have evolved. 
Each shuttle had over 30,000 ceramic tiles making up its heat shield, each one unique and requiring individual inspection and potential replacement after every flight. Engineers would spend weeks crawling over the spacecraft's surface, checking each tile by hand. SpaceX learned from this, developing a revolutionary heat shield design that could be rapidly inspected and refurbished. But perhaps the most dramatic chapter in this ongoing story came during Starship's Flight 5, when SpaceX attempted something many thought impossible, catching a massive rocket booster with mechanical arms. The tension in mission control was palpable as the 230-foot-tall booster descended from the sky, guided by precision controls toward the waiting catch arms. Success would mean a revolutionary new approach to rocket recovery. Failure could mean months of setbacks. The achievement sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry, leading to SpaceX's valuation skyrocketing to $350 billion. This success has transformed Elon Musk's net worth, adding approximately $50 billion in one dramatic surge to reach $439.2 billion. But beyond the financial implications, it represented something more profound, a fundamental shift in what we believe is possible in space exploration. Blue Origin hasn't been standing still during this time. Their new Shepard program has successfully completed nine crewed missions, including the recent NS-28 flight that carried six passengers beyond the Kármán line, the internationally recognized boundary of space. The spacecraft's massive windows, the largest ever flown in space, have given passengers an unparalleled view of our planet, contributing to what astronauts call the overview effect and a profound shift in perspective when seeing Earth from space. The competition between these companies has sparked a renaissance in space technology development. SpaceX's rapid launch cadence, now averaging one launch every 2.3 days, has forced the entire industry to rethink what's possible. Traditional aerospace companies that once scoffed at SpaceX's ambitious goals are now scrambling to adapt to this new reality. Looking ahead, SpaceX has secured approval for 25 Starship launches in 2025, while Blue Origin continues their methodical march toward New Glenn's first flight. The contrast in approaches couldn't be clearer. SpaceX's move fast and break things versus Blue Origin's careful methodical development process. Each approach has its merits and risks, and both companies continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. This story transcends mere corporate competition. It's about humanity's future in space. Every successful launch, every breakthrough in reusability, every new milestone achieved brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. The race between SpaceX and Blue Origin isn't just about corporate success. It's about writing the next chapter in human exploration. For the engineers, technicians, and visionaries at both companies, this isn't just work. It's a calling. They're not just building rockets. They're building humanity's bridge to the stars. And as we watch these titans of industry push the boundaries of what's possible, one thing becomes clear. The next great leap in human history will be powered by commercial spaceflight. As this space race continues to unfold, one truth becomes crystal clear. Success in the space industry isn't just about having ambitious plans or deep pockets. It's about execution and innovation. While Blue Origin maintains its methodical approach with New Shepard's successful tourism program and New Glenn's careful development, SpaceX's relentless pace of innovation continues to reshape our expectations of what's possible in space exploration. The stark contrast between these two giants reveals different paths to the same stars. SpaceX's rapid development cycle has led to over 400 successful missions in 14 years, while Blue Origin focuses on perfecting each step before moving forward. Both approaches contribute to advancing human spaceflight, but SpaceX's achievements, from 13-day turnarounds to catching rocket boosters mid-air, have set new standards for the entire industry. As we've seen throughout this journey, the future of space exploration is being written not in government facilities, but in commercial spaceflight companies, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The competition between SpaceX and Blue Origin isn't just about corporate success. It's about expanding humanity's reach into the cosmos. 
If you're as fascinated by these developments in space exploration as we are, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with the latest news and developments on the Elon Musk 24-hour channel. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on which company's approach you think will prove more successful in the long run. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and share it with friends who share your interest in space technology and innovation. Turn on notifications to catch our next video covering the latest developments in space exploration and technology. Until next time, keep watching as history unfolds above our heads. Welcome to another exciting week at Starbase, where even national holidays can't slow down the rapid pace of innovation. This week's update brings you some of the most significant developments we've seen yet, from mysterious potential V2 booster components to major progress on the next evolution of Boca Chica's manufacturing capabilities. In our headline story, we're tracking what could be the next chapter in Starship's journey, preparations for Flight 7, alongside intriguing developments at both Pad B and the groundbreaking new Giga Bay facility. We've captured exclusive footage of booster components moving through Mega Bay 1, including critical stacking operations for Booster 16's liquid oxygen tank, potentially setting the stage for Flight 9. But that's not all. We've also spotted something that's gotten the entire space community talking. What appears to be next-generation V2 booster parts emerging from the Star Factory. These developments, combined with the rapidly evolving infrastructure at Boca Chica, paint a picture of SpaceX's ambitious vision for the future of space exploration. Hello, I'm from Elon Musk 24 Hours, and today we'll take you behind the scenes of these transformative changes that are reshaping not just Starbase, but the future of space travel itself. Let's dive right in. As dawn breaks over the Texas coastline, Starbase pulses with an energy that defies the holiday lull. The story of this week unfolds like a carefully orchestrated symphony, each component playing its crucial part in SpaceX's grand vision. Deep within Mega Bay 1, where the future takes physical form, we witness a pivotal moment in Booster 16's creation. The newly arrived ring stand, gleaming under the bay's bright lights, represents more than just industrial equipment. It's the cradle that will support a beast of a liquid oxygen tank, capable of holding enough fuel to push humanity's dreams beyond Earth's atmosphere. As teams work with practiced precision, the stacking operation proceeds with an almost balletic grace each movement calculated and purposeful. But this week's narrative takes an intriguing turn with the appearance of the four-point lifter, moving like a mechanical sentinel through the ring yard. This isn't merely a tool, it's a testament to SpaceX's evolutionary approach to rocket building. The same attachment points that will one day grasp the spacecraft during its dramatic landing now serve a crucial role in its birth. The lifter's presence near Mega Bay, two whispers promises of Ship 33's imminent ascent.